Episode seven. Wow, you you guys did it. You realize now you're committed, right? This is like a relationship. You you can't leave me, and I can't let you down anymore. <laughs> So hello everybody and welcome to episode 7 of our Planet Zoo Let's Play. And we, boy howdy, do we have an exciting episode. I'm so sorry that it's taken like a long time to get here. I do apologize. I mentioned that I was gonna have- Oh god no, just slow it down. We have got so much to do. We got a new exhibit as well as I'm gonna show you pretty much all of the work that I've been doing when I have had some spare time. Wow, oh god, did her glasses just- I was gonna say move. Were you in a box for? Did you escape? How did you escape? <laughs> okay, so the biggest change is not that. Uh, if we go to the entrance and we come over here, in fact, I think we have three Komodo babies. Yeah, we do. We have three Komodo babies. Uh, we probably had three last time. We were the, the cutest little thing. No, oh, come back here. <laughs> Don't you run away, little cuteness. There we go. Oh my god, she's adorable. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, it's Asim. Ah, okay, well, there you go. So I've made a little change in here. I've given them a little underground bunker. I was thinking what would be really cool, it's not really a bunker, you know what I mean, is to have an underground system of tunnels um, to make an enclosure like that. A bit like if you've ever been to a, a zoo that has meerkats. And again, uh, I know, broken record time with beavers. <laughs> I just want to say the amount of support this series is getting, again, Baffles me all the time. Like, why are you here? <laughs> There's so many better people online who make amazing exhibits, but you choose. I I'll say thank you for uh, choosing to uh, fly Beaver's Airways. Uh, so this is the new and updated uh, planes area. Um, we have added trees. There is trees now. I've added rocks. I've added a cool little feature here, uh, the waterfalls. Um, of course, we have the little speed demons that are the baby ostriches just running about. They're actually about to mature even, uh, so we're gonna have loads of ostriches. In fact, most of them have. There's two females there, uh, three females, a male. This is probably another female, is it? Oh god, hello. Oh no, we got- are these- oh, well, we had like four females and one male. Oh, interesting. So uh, we have a lot of ostriches. In fact, whoa, hold on! Hold on, I think this is a second batch. There's four of them there. And then, how many other ostriches? We have so many ostriches. Do we? Yeah, we do. A few of them have become adults and already had chicks already. Uh, and also, I spent quite some time making this whole observe, you know, shelter area. Um, I haven't actually. Was this powered even? It is powered. Okay, well, we should, um, what should we have here? Repair of the ozone layer? Population fragmentation. I don't even know what that is. I would love, oh, about... Is it about roads? Oh, that's interesting. Why? Why are you in there? Why? I've rubbed it off specifically. Why is she walking through it? She's crazy. <laughs> so I've also added information boards in here with um, some sound speakers. Although I can't really hear anything. Uh, only problem is that this has no power, this one. What you should do, right, is you, you get a bit, you duplicate it, and you make it over again. However, uh, because this part of the path is so different to this part of the path, I've basically had to re- like, I've shifted it over, but then I have to move everything. I thought- WHY ARE YOU WALKING THROUGH THE ro I ROPED IT OFF FOR A REASON! OH MY GOD! <laughs> so yeah, I've roped this area off, it's like a cool- Ooh, look, African objects, but they just walk through them! THEY DON'T CARE! Oh my god, this is horrendous! Oh no, they're trying to hide from it, Oh. I mean, if we, is it, are they even sheltered? They're kind of sheltered. They they definitely don't look sheltered. It looks like it's absolutely sopping. Um, so we, we actually had a flamingo die. I probably I probably didn't even need to tell you that. But you probably at this point you've guessed it. The flamingos are just dying all the time. Um, so this is the this exhibit, and we have a crud ton of a bison that. Um, Oh, I, I don't know. I, I need to check the population to make sure there's not too many males to female ratio because we had that problem last time. And I know you got- oh, wait, did I, put, did I put a heater in the nettles? Not only that, I put a floating heater in the nettles. That is bad. I was thinking what I should do, actually. Um, and I haven't even done it here. This is awful, James. What you should be doing is hiding the, these things. Come on, come on. Get your head in the game. We don't want people to see heaters out in the wild. Destroys the illusion. I can't grab it for the nettles. Oh, well, fine, I'll just move the nettles out of the way. I am God, after all. So, yeah, what I didn't actually get across when I was like, oh, thank you for the support in the series, is that I actually do want to play this, and it's always, it's always so, like, satisfying and kind of rewarding in a way when something that, 
you know, I'm enjoying. You guys actually enjoy it to the point where it's like, wow, I can actually keep playing this. <laughs> and I think that's a problem with a lot of YouTube stuff is, it, oh my God, a floating. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my God, he's a magician. What's his name? Embry. I need to release more things to the wild. I've only got 425 conservation points and apparently I'm losing money. I'm, oh, hold on. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I didn't realize. Maybe I should sell some things. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute. It's probably because I've been reading your comments. So now if you have a look at the zoo and the staff members, we have so many. And of course, all dedicated to different work zones and I've separated them so each work zone is about two exhibits and they each have a zookeeper, they have caretakers, they have vets. Uh, also certain researchers as well, um, only research. So you guys said that when vets and um, mechanics are researching, they can't fix enclosures. Oh, well, well then we've got an active disease. Get off those flamingos. Look, they just die. You don't need to worry about them. Go on to Gerardo Stickland disease. Whoa, whoa, what the, what? Oh my God. You! I didn't know you could climb up there! Okay. I guess because it's like a kind of deer. Oh my god, you are adorable! I didn't realize that it could climb up a mountain. Okay. Probably gonna have to add fences now up there. <laughs> Jesus! I didn't even know they had a baby. Well, they have now, and it's, um. I. I am. I'm kind of worried that it would be able to jump out the enclosure now. Anyway, anyway, also what I decided to do was go over this way. <gasps> oh, plant sticking. I can't have that. Hey, um, is connect this area around this way. So I think that makes more sense. Um, and the biggest change um, is this. This is going to be the salt water crocodile exhibit. You guys wanted them. I wanted them, but I thought we could do something different now. I, I, oh, look, I've made, this is all from scratch. I, I made this. I made this. Are you impressed? Are you not entertained? Uh, it's not, actually not too hard. It just takes a while. This probably took an hour. Just to make sure everything was okay. Everything was placed right. I learned a few things. So holding shift when you're moving buildings or building blocks. Uh, moves them up and down. They can snap, which was so helpful. Because I was annoyed at like this roof snapping wrong. And I couldn't get wood in there. Um, so we've got these exhibits that we're not too worried about. American bison fighting to an alpha status. That's fine. So these are the flamingos and they're finally actually doing okay. We have a new breed of babies. We're all good. But the biggest change is of course the pygmy hippo exhibit. I decided to remove the extra drawer I added here because there's really there was no point, let's be honest. Um, and I added like a little, I don't know, maybe if she gets pregnant again or something, this could be a little area where she could sit down and it is covered. <laughs> there is lights working as well. And just to, you know, have it fit in with a little bit more of that rainforesty feel. I thought I'd add a little flower bed to the top as well as some, um, what do you call it? As well as some flowers. It is amazing the level of customization you can have. And speaking of our little pygmy hippos, where are they? Oh, there she is. Is that Chiku? Is it Chiku? Somebody sent me a picture of, um, of a baby real life pygmy hippo. And they made me question whether aardvarks are really the cutest. I mean, no, oh no, no. They are still cute, but oh my God, she's so cute. Look at her trotting along. Where's mama? She's going to, where, where is mama? Is mama taking a bath? I wouldn't be surprised if mama's taking a bath. <gasps> time, to, oh, time to dive in. Is she in here? Of course she is. <laughs> she's so happy. So cute. I don't even know where pygmy hippos are from actually. I'd love to find out. Let's, let's learn together. Uh, let's have a look. Natural habitat. Oh, they are in Africa. For some odd reason, I thought they were in South America. Oh, but she's fine. She's just got a little bit of a nutrition um, dietary requirement where I need to, ooh, if I can zoom out, get out here. I did want to make this one way uh, glass. Only problem is that I can, I, I can, one way I can put. So if we click on the barrier, uh, just double click and we go in one way. Uh, that should have changed it. So yeah, she can't see out now. But if I click on this one and I click it, it switches the other way around and I don't know how to change it. Um, I kind of wanted a stairway going down. Uh, also changed the, uh, oh, do we not have power? Oh, we're out of power, fantastic. Okay, some, is it this? Oh, we used to have a power here, but the solar panel probably doesn't reach over here. Oh, damn, we have a solar panel here, but it just doesn't quite reach it either. Uh, I wanted stairs to go out, but oh, I just thought this was cute. Look at it. Oh, she's running away. She's clip clopping away. Uh, it's amazing the level of detail you can have with this. I'm really happy with this. 
This is an amazing part. I, I, you, I'm pretty sure you can agree. Maybe some of these need um, give it a little bit of different a look so it's not all uniform i think that that would be good just little hints like this just add that extra level of oh god can we do that that's right because we've got the short logs now that looks quite nice and as you can see i quite like this as that's sort of reason why i've put this over here no real need i just thought that looks quite nice and we've got a nice building there that the staff can use to refill these habitats and what have you wait what are you pointing at is there nothing in here what are you doing? Do they think they can see <laughs> They're going in. They're the local nutters. It's fine. Leave them alone. <laughs> oh, dear. So, what are we doing today? We are adding the saltwater crocodiles, but we I've got an extra little bit of uh, information for you. I was watching because there, there are so many people out there on YouTube that make these amazing enclosures. I thought what I would do is kind of mimic one of them. Uh, is Paulsies? I will. No shame. I will say who it is. Uh, he made an underground exhibit for the crocodiles. So you can go underground here. And I mean, here, here it's not flooded here, right? Now, I have yet to see anybody use this area. And my theory is it's not deep enough. Uh, sorry, it's, it's, it's too deep. So if I go up a little bit, boom, it's flooded. So this is technically underwater. So there's not enough room for people to get in. Now this, I will tell you how to do this and I'll, I'll do this in the video because I, I, I really want you guys to be able to make this. It's just so hard. So of course I've made ro individual rocks and logs and stuff to make the path, but it, there, there is a method. It's like making a cake. You have to do certain things first. And because I actually didn't put the water in high enough, uh, I'm going to have to redo this. So one of the problems with Planet Zoo is when you make water, you cannot make uh, path next to it. So I cannot- Oh, wait, what? What, really? I can, I can do that? Oh, it is gonna flan. Uh, you know why that is? It's because it's an enclosure. So if I did that, it kind of goes over. Wow, okay. Well, that's good. Okay, right. So you want to make an underwater exhibit. This is what we're going to have to do, because, I, I mean, we'll, we'll probably customize the exhibit, we'll get the crocodiles in there. At the moment, it's not technically exhibit, because it doesn't have a door. So, what you want to do first, take out the water. Now, you'll see, I can't put the water back in. Now, the, oh, can I? No, I can't. <laughs> I was like, wait, can I? Uh, the reason for that is because there is a hole. Um, and, of course, if I was to flood it, then it, the water would come out here, and what have you. Now, I'm happy with the level that water's at. Uh, but what we need to do is first get rid of the path. Now, I think the path I'm using is a five meter path. Um, so we're just going to delete all this and you're going to have to delete these things um, because you can move it and then you can't place it back. So anything that's placed on the path like benches or bins uh, or donation things even. In fact, I tell you what, because I, I, I like this. <laughs> I, li I like the color of it. I am just going to take that. And I am going to place it just over there, just so I can keep it. We're going to lift this straight up so I've grouped all this together. So we can kind of keep the layer of the path. Uh, next step is, of course, to fill the hole. Now, remember, when you fill this with water, um, it is no, you're no longer going to be able to edit the terrain around it. It's going to be stuck like that. So when you're making an exhibit, make sure that you've got the terrain the way you want it to look. I've had a lot of errors, especially when it comes to the fences and stuff. So you see here, we've got like a little dip. There's nothing I could do there uh, because of the fence. I guess I could move the fence back a little bit and this as well. I kind of like that because as, as you're underneath, no, that's not it. That's actually in the enclosure. There it is. So you got this light and we, we can work with that. We can, we can work with that. I'm not going to change the level of the path. So the level of the path is going to stay the same. If I have the path, oh God, the way it is at the moment, it's too, it, like this water's too deep. Like it, it goes into the path too much. So what we're going to have to do is get the mountain tool. Now you can change it. If you hold shift, you can move up and down how much of the elevation you want. So, I mean, the path's a little bit, so probably about that much. It's not going to be too deep a water for the crocodiles, but it'll do for now. Uh, then we go into this tool. We go into flatten, click on there, and then we just flatten all of this. So we just want to flatten this all out. Uh, any holes? Want to plug those up? Yeah, I hope you guys don't find this too boring. <laughs> I, th I think it's fascinating watching people work. And the, the thing is, right, people who make these videos, they they just speed build it and they talk over it, which I think is great because when, you, when you're taking hours, you kind of have to. But I also think there's some enjoyment in watching something slowly take shape and knowing that 
you know, you were there for the for the journey almost. So here we go. So it's 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 all right. What we need is an entrance for the alligators, you know, an, a, a, a quote in quotation marks entrance. So just some sort of little little slidey bit there. So the reason why we have this big chunk of rocky path uh, floating above us is just so we can know where the path's gonna go. Now that we have that, remember, you have to have the fence placed around it before anything else. So you see this bit here. I mean, we're gonna play, we're gonna fill this in with trees so it's not gonna be too bad. And this is gonna be a little observatory to look into there, which of course still need work. But I could not place this path when there was water in here. So make sure that any paths and the walls are switched. Um, so now we can click on rough water. And we want to get it pretty high. That's as high as we want. And I'm thinking what we could have is a really cool uh, overflow area here where we could have the water almost pouring over. And that looks really pretty over here. We could even have the water coming out through here even. Think I'm going to have a think about this. No, we won't. We'll keep it. We'll probably add some shrubs. Never mind. And you've got... Ooh, I like this. We've got like a little bit of a shallow area here. Ooh, that's cool. But I tell you what, I'll have this smooth off a little bit more. Okay, right. Now that we've done that, the next, the moment of truth now is to click on the path and start. Now you need to have tunneling on. Never mind. Well, I guess you're going to flatten. Yeah, we'll have flatten. What Paul's he said to do is to, oh god, oh, click on everything. Is it P for path? No. Oh no, it's P for pause. Oops. Uh, you want to make the path that you're going to place first to excavate the kind of area a little bit wider than what your, your path's actually going to be. Just because, so that when you place your not as thick path, uh, you won't get any weird railing or path deformations. Now, what we can do even um, and I, I should have told you this before, is move this down to about, and we'll just get that off because we've got information screens in, to about the level that we're going to want. Now, I don't know. All I know is that the rock definitely needs to be below the surface of the water, so probably about there. So already, that's, that's the height of the water. So when we get to the sort of path level, it won't be submerged and people can walk through it. <laughs> I hope the reason why people aren't going through it now is just because there's nowhere for them to go because they just go around this big loop. And then, you see what I mean? There's like some weird, weird railings going on. But we're not going to use this path. This is the excavation path. Now, you can see how different that is from the level of the water. However, we still have to go pretty damn far down in order to hit the water. So, I'm hoping that's not going to change anything. So, we're going to test this already. We're going to click play. And we're going to see if anybody walks through this. Whoa, animal escaped. I knew it. It jumped over the fence. <laughs> you little buggy. <buggier. laughs> what do you like? I mean, if I was there, I, I would love that. I mean, you've got a free deer to pet. Oh, oh there you go. On the bench. Don't you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait. It, oh, never mind. It just goes straight through the path. That's fantastic. It was supposed to be day. What's going on? How come it's night again? We never used to get night. Oh, oh, we've done a thing. There we go. We got zebras and everything. Yeah, so that's a five's good until 11. Interesting. Oh, we don't have a water pump here anymore. Okay. We are probably definitely going to need a water pump on top of this building. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me just edit this and we'll put a water pump on top of here. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got a roof. We've got a water treatment. We, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> just like that, we can use the ability of the top because then, I mean, well, let's have a look. How are people... How people find this. Now, the range of that water. Yeah, it's covering everything except for the pygmy hippo water. Damn. Okay, well, we're probably going to need another one, in fact. Oh, God. It goes so dark. We've got these vendors here. We also have this. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I can easy build my own. I can easy build my own. This is a preset. It looks okay. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time... Oh, we don't have lights. <gasps> Pause. We need lights. God, it's so pretty. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh, why? Why am I spending so much time placing damn lights? <laughs> we've got we've got big me hippos and need water clean.
Okay, we've done it. We've added a water pump and a solar panel onto here. People aren't going to be very happy about it, but I'm okay because these shops aren't being used. What I am happy about is that my pygmy hippos, especially little Chiku, will have a lovely clean water. And actually, speaking about pygmy hippos, um, we need to see... Wow, okay, these are super expensive pygmy hippos. I think what we need to go, <laughs> we need to do is go into the, oh yeah, actually we need to, we need to add really big fences so they can't jump in here. <laughs> Wardsworth, how much does he get sold to the wild for? Release to the wild for 47. Hemerson, okay, Hemerson, you're out of here. I like Wadsworth. He's an alpha, actually. Okay, we'll keep the alpha. We need the alpha. Where, wait, where are they all? I thought we had so many more bison. Have they have just decided, oh god, guys, hide, he's here. He's about to release more of us to that terrible place called the wild. Oh, Emmeline. How much does she sell to the wild for? 80. Wow, she must have amazing genetics. 100%. Oh, fertility, 100% immunity. <gasps> no, we need to keep her. <laughs> She's very good. Oh, the little baby. Oh, we got two baby zebras. Are they finally happy with the sword? Yes, they're finally happy. Awesome. Yep, immunity 0%. I think we need to... Gonna release you to the wild, gets a cold and dies instantly. <laughs> Why are you guys not okay? What's wrong? Is it your nutrition? Last drink cleanliness. Uh, is this place not clean? Oh, it's being treated. Body of water being treated. There we go. Okay, okay, we're okay. Right, okay, what I'm thinking, because we've got some people going up here for the donation box, uh, which we still need to re-edit this path, because, oh boy, that's ugly. Um, but we'll do that when the day comes. We'll move that donation box. I don't know. We'll put it we'll put it there. Let's see. Oh, tell you what. Let's move it. Let's move it here. See if it gets any donations from there. And if we can move people maybe around, we'll have a look. Okay, any any weird railings happening? Oh, a little bit, but I, I can always shift some things. <gasps> Classic theme, that's perfect, because I want to put some glass over the tunnel, so hopefully we'll get that soon. Well, they sh- Oh, they're all, like, walking together. Don't die, for the love of God, just stay alive, okay? You escaped again! Oh my god! Go <laughs> little Bambi! Just escaping all the time. No, it's fine. She can, you can have a walk around. It's okay. Oh, there they are. The crocodiles are... Whoa, that one's huge. Do we get the same species? Yep, there it is. Okay, crocodile. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> there's the path and there's the crocs. Woo-hoo-hoo. Aren't you gorgeous? Right, did you say injured? Injured? What already? How did you get injured? We'll give you a pumpkin right there. Oh, wait. I was gonna say, no, the, the keepers can get around, can't they? Yes, they can, that's fine. Oh, they're kind of okay with everything. We just need a little bit more rock. That's it? Wait, they have a hard shelter? Where's the hard shelter? Kind of curious, because <laughs> I haven't placed a hard shelter, but... There you- oh, you're still injured, okay. Where's the other one? The other one's a lot smaller. Eyes just above the surface of the water, looking for prey. Oh, are you stuck? You are stuck. Hold on. I was gonna say, you haven't moved at all. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Shall I put that there? I haven't changed anything, I don't think. She shouldn't have been stuck. I wouldn't have thought so. Chiku needs you. She needs you to poop. Oh, gosh. Da, 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 da. Straight off. <laughs> She's been starving this whole time. That looks stinky. She might need more food, actually. Low welfare for this guy. Is there too... There's probably too many. There's always too many. Oh, no, it needs more... So are you stuck on the rock? Is that it? Can you not get down? <laughs> they love to climb these guys. Look, well, there you go. What do you mean, social low? Look who's come up to see it. Aura Oye. Aura Ori has come to see Latifa. There you go. Socialize. You'll be fine. Oh, that's adorable. Can they get under? Yes, they can. Oh, that's fantastic. You see the crocodile over there. <laughs> okay, I really need to sort this place out. Okay, first off, saltwater crocodiles. There we go. Before we start moving things, we'll just make sure that the boards are set up. Oh, wow. Everything's a bit too high. Uh, we'll set you up as well. Grab this. 
Uh, turn that off. I need to find the anchor point because it's a little bit too high. Move it down to about there. That's what we want. Now, I still need to put a glass roof on this area. And as well as some other finishing touches. But, oh my god, that looks great. Yeah, we need to add rocks. We need to make this place look great. We need to add reeds and everything. Because the crocodiles are actually okay with this area. And they're like, oh, look at that. Oh my god, they've never been happier. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, he's battered and bruised. And she's... Walking in spot. Are you still injured? No, you've been you've been healed. Look at that. Straight down. Straight down into the water. Tail glitching out there a little bit. We won't worry about that. <laughs> Not too much. Research. There you go. Glanders. Awesome. So we have a crocodile exhibit. Go Ooh, okay, guys. Give me a second. Let me fix the underground path. Wow! Oh, uh, this looks weird. They look completely smooth. Okay, okay. Give me two seconds, guys. Cue the montage music. Okay, you you oh you've put the mac and cheese in the microphone. <laughs> Whitney man. Okay, guys, just gonna take a little break. Let me eat my mac and cheese. All right, that's that done. And this flamingo is gonna do the impossible. It's going from a baby to an adult soon, apparently. Oh, oh, look. So it still thinks that the uh, the scent's on the floor because they don't change the animation. That's interesting. Soon this place will be filled with thousands of flamingos. Thousands, I tell you. But not quite yet. Oh, the little chickos, they having a little bit of nom noms. Is she close to being an adult? Oh, needs more adults. Um, actually, yeah. She's really close. It doesn't look like, it looks like she's halfway to becoming an adult, but. No, oh, stop it. You're too cute. Right, okay. You guys have had lots of fun. I'll, uh, I'll just reset the, because you've obviously got it stuck there. Oh, look at you exploring the river, aren't you? Oh, it's. I love, honestly, I love this game. Not gonna lie, it's it's freaking amazing. I love it so much. But it's, oh, look at the crocodile, like right above. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go, let's place that there. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, I wanna pause it before that crocodile goes away because that is such a cool shot. Look at that. Now, the only thing I'm missing, oh, that's so cool. She's like, hmm. I don't like how that crocodile could probably eat my children. Eat the middle one. We don't like her very much. She's not part of our family. Look how close they are. To, like, you can't get much closer than that. And you're, you're still... Are you still injured? You you look to be... Alang, you look to be fine, though. Oh, wait. Can you have multiple mates? Apparently, you have no mates so far. And you've just entered adulthood. That's great. Uh, oh, no. She has a mate. But apparently, he doesn't. <laughs> so there's something going on with this relationship, I think. Do you have a mate yet? No, currently no, mate. <laughs> He's not into it, you see. Uh, okay, so I still want to change a lot of this exhibit. Oh my god, there's so much path that we could have here. Ah, <sighs> oh wait, what are you guys doing in here? Get out! This is not meant for you! I need to make a barrier so this is, like, staff only. In fact, actually, maybe, you know if I put, like, this path down instead? Right, so guests won't go on that now. Ah! Okay, I'd love to make some sort of gate and stuff so they can't come in here and then make it like a little headquarters for the staff. That would be great. Do we have anything seriously injured? Oh no, we'll call the vet. Urmias. Oh, have you have you just grown up? Let's have a look. Hold on. Yeah, you have. Oh, fantastic. What's this? Fighting for Alpha. That's fine. That's fine. We are doing... Awesome. Oh, that's right. Get out. Oh, oh my god. There's so many crowds. Oh my Jesus. But we're actually turning a profit, so that's good. We've got a common ostrich that has low welfare because of its social. Don't be stressed, little buddy. Oh my god, you see that? <gasps> the ostrich, like, jumped on the rug. Are you guys loving this exhibit? Because I am. It's so good. Right, yeah, there's so much more I need to add to this. Like, I want to make... Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, so I was testing out the different types. So, here we go. What's this one? I need to find this one and I want to move it. Are you the right one? Yes, you are. Fantastic. You're coming with me. Woohoo, there's water everywhere. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, and it looks, it gives this effect of like a 
fountain coming out. We could probably place some rocks around this edge as well, like about there, and then we'll come on, exit. And then at the bottom, we can have these splashy ones. Or at least we can, we can sort of have one in the middle there and have one in the middle there. And now it looks like the water's coming out and sloshing over. Has he finally recognized you? Has he fi- Nope, still has- is, is he having a problem? I feel like I'm gonna move him. I, I don't feel- Yeah, I'm gonna move you. I don't know what's going on with, uh, with you exactly, but we're gonna- We're gonna put you over there. I think you might have glitched out just a tiny bit. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> Whoa! Fine! Oh, we got an inspection. Oh dear. Just to show the- Look, these are all individual bits of wood. I placed these to make it look like it was pretty decent. I still want to do something here uh, with these guys. I've, I've just got like a rope dangling as well there. <laughs> Not too sure why. I was going to do something with the bit up here. Um, maybe have some objects and stuff. And then I was just going to group that all together and then duplicate it over here. That generator is like just annoyingly, annoyingly not close enough. I think what we need to do is make another generator. Does that count? Oh God, did I place two down? Oh, I placed one on top of the other. Fantastic. And now we should, seven, six dangerous animals have escaped. Yeah, it is not. Oh, what? Oh, did it just get darted? I think it just got darted. Okay. Okay, that, that was weird. <laughs> that thought, wait, did it just die? Okay, yeah, so we'll just bring this out a little bit. Right, okay, now that we've got power coming to here. Yeah, ostrich and buffalo. So all of the creatures that we have in here have display boards. Look at him go! He's loving it! Right, now, oh my, oh my god, they were all there. They're, they're praising the baby bison. Okay, guys, now one thing you can get that I'm really wanting to try out is a boat tour. Now, what I'm thinking, okay, hear me out, hear me out, is that we have this river run around, like, this big area. All this here will be water. Um, and what we'll have in the middle is some, oh god, overcrowding. Uh, oh dear, is there too many ostriches or is there just too many animals? Oh, no, no, are you guys- Oh! Oh, they are fighting a mi- Oh! A kick that could shatter bone and they're just scratching each other. Oh dear. Okay, uh, how many ostriches are they happy with? Nine! Okay, there's one too many. What's your genetics? Um, eh, they're okay. No! No! 24 conservation points say is not good enough. <laughs> oh my god, he's got three to himself. Salim, you player, you. What's his genetics? Ooh, very good. Very good genetics. I like it. And now the lanterns should all be on in here too. Oh, fantastic. I kind of want to put another, like duplicate this and have it over the end, like the entrance and then going down the stairs a little bit, leaving this part open and then leaving this part open and then maybe having another bit here just on the entrance and stairs and then this part open a little bit, but my God, it's gonna be so much work. And one thing I haven't thought about too much is just about lag and how many parts we can have in this place. Um, I can't wait to get some crocodile bait. Look at you menacing in the moonlight. Why, how come, why do we just, oh, okay. Ooh, oh, we're all done on that. Fantastic, guys, you're doing God's work. Right, ooh, classic themes halfway done, that's great. Um, now let me just have a look in construction and see if we can have a glass. Um, oh, here we go, yeah, there it is! This is it, that's what I wanted! Now it's gonna go quite dark when we get in here. Right, okay, is it a little bit too wide? <laughs> oh dear! Oh, but you're coming through, that's fine, that's fine. We can, we can give you a lovely water tunnel. Okay, let's, let's bring it back to the start, shall we? Okay, I'm thinking what we're gonna need to do is bring all that rock in on either side just a little bit. So then we can just like have the archway go along there and then it gives the illusion that it's covered, even though it quite clearly isn't. <laughs> but I will save that, I think. I'll save that for the next episode. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it off here. Um, we've made some really good progress. We've made sure that the pygmy hippos now have clean water, because I didn't even see that, so I'm so glad. Um, this place, oh, looks so much better. We actually have saltwater crocodiles. We now have the roof part that I needed, so sorely needed, to, um, complete the tunnel and in the next episode 
Uh, if you want to leave comments saying what maybe we can put in these two exhibits, I'll try and fix this whole area, make it a little bit prettier. Uh, maybe we can have something here, or maybe we'll start working on the primate exhibit that'll be around about here. I'm thinking if this is the lake and we have this road here, we could have actual exhibits because we still haven't done any of these exhibits with boa constrictors, giant spiders, all that jazz. And then we can have a viewing area um, that shows maybe we can put something else in the lake, like garials or something like that. Um, that would be a good idea just to incorporate something else into that big body of water because at the moment we can't have aquatic creatures, so it's a bit of a shame. And of course we need to, you know, decorate the park, which is like, you know, maybe make a cave entrance there or something and put loads of trees here to sort of shroud this, have some sort of wooden stand here. And like, the more I edit certain areas, like I make this Africa area look awesome. The more I look at like the Komodo dragon exhibit and go, wow, uh, I really need to change it. <laughs> we really need to upgrade it. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been an hour and a half already. It's probably only going to be half an hour video for you guys, probably. But again, thank you so much for all of the uh, love and support, comments, likes, everything that this, uh, this series gets. You guys like watching it. I like playing it. Why not do more, you know? So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,